People talk about THC like it's always temporary. Like you get high, you come down, and then it's all over. But with modern high potency THC, that's not how things always play out. THC strength has skyrocketed. NIDA reports illegal cannabis products went from about 4% THC in 1995 to 16% in 2022. And the dispensary flower concentrates are way higher than that. And when potency goes up, so do the odds of a mental fallout. For some people, the first long-term hit is anxiety, panic attacks, racing thoughts, and that my brain isn't safe feeling that can linger well past the high. This very thing happened to me and it took me months to recover. And when heavy users stop, withdrawals do happen and they can include sleep problems, irritability, anxiety, and low mood. Often that sleep disruption is a huge reason why people relapse. Then there's the stuff people don't talk about. Depersonalization, derealization. That feeling unreal, detached, like you're watching your own life. There are clinical reports of prolonged DPTR symptoms after cannabis that are often kicked off by a panic reaction. And the biggest one of them all, psychosis risks. A major multi-site study found daily use and especially daily high potency cannabis were associated with a much higher odds of first episode psychosis. And if somebody crosses into that cannabis induced psychosis, a large Danish registry study found about 47% later converted to schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Now that doesn't mean everyone is doomed. It means high THC plus frequent use turns into a different game. And here's the fix. Just don't make high THC use a daily habit. I made this mistake and I paid for it. Avoid concentrates. Don't use it when you're sleep deprived or already anxious. And if THC ever causes paranoia, DPDR, hallucinations, or I'm not feeling myself, stop. That's your warning label. That's your hard health truth for the day. Sources are below in the description. Follow for more.